reality kind of give me an uppercut. So I had a misconception that because I'd already done a degree that medicine were going to be, you know, a breeze. Boy, was I wrong. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm about to talk to you about <laughs> why Biomed made me feel superior. Like this is just my personal experience. So I'm not talking for all the other graduates out there on the undergraduate course. This is just basically how I felt and how, you know, reality kind of gave me an uppercut and um, sent me back into the motion of things. So I did biomedical sciences as my first degree. I took a gap year and then I reapply for medicine and now I'm studying medicine. So I had a conception, well misconception that because I'd already done a degree that you know the clinical, the preclinical years of medicine were going to be you know a breeze because it's just basically the science that I learned in uh, my three years in biomed. <laughs> Boy, was I wrong. Like, I really went into medicine, especially because I thought it was an undergraduate course. You know, I know more than these um, students that are coming from A-level. You know, I have a better standing studying biomed. So I felt like, you know, I could do better than these students. I have no idea what gave me that kind of confidence. I really don't. I really had to check myself and, you know, slap myself back into reality. After halfway through first year, I was like, wow, I really don't know much. And it's the fact that, <laughs> it's the fact that I took a gap year and all the knowledge that I'd accumulated over my last three years, I'd pretty much forgotten in one year. It's the audacity for me. But when I first started um, my first year, like I, the course was okay. I was like, oh wow, there's a, there's a lot of content. There's a lot of lectures, but it's pretty much stuff that I've already learned before, right? No, because not only was there a lot of content of stuff that I already knew per se, it was the sheer amount that we had to know for one exam. That was what ca caught me off guard because when I did my first degree biomed, there were less lectures but more in depth. So with medicine is like loads of content, but the depth is just, is just the same. It's not a lot of depth. Whereas in biomed is like small content. So you gotta do really, really deep in depth. So I thought, you know, but the way I studied in biomed would be the exact same way I studied in medicine. I learned that in the third week that taking notes was a waste of time on my part because of just too many lectures for me to get hold, hold of. And I just couldn't keep up with the way I used to write lecture notes in biomed. It was not the way I could be doing, doing up an hour, hour and a half on one lecture. It's just not possible. Not when you have like 50 other lectures waiting for you. And when each lecture is like 70 slides, it's just, it's just not worth it. So that's one thing that really knocked me to reality that made me realize, you know, just because I did biomed doesn't necessarily mean I was ready for the amount of work for, of medicine. Uh, secondly, it was when other people found out I was a graduate, I felt the sense of that I needed to know the answer to every question. So sometimes ones who are on newly on the undergraduate course will ask me, you know, oh, what is so-and-so? And, -so? and I just, and sometimes I actually didn't know the answer and I would answer them. And other times they'd ask me this question and I'd be like, I should know this because I studied this and you know, I studied it quite recently, so it should be in my head. Forgetting that they also studied it. Just because you studied it doesn't mean you remember it. And just because you studied it doesn't mean you understand it. So I used to beat up myself a lot because, you know, I'm a graduate. This shouldn't be so hard for me to be able to memorize and understand certain concepts. But why was it when sometimes a student would ask me, another fellow student would ask me a question, I just didn't have the answer sometimes. It was really, it, was, it really hit home that, wow, <laughs> biomed doesn't really prepare you for the amount of content that there is in medicine. And just because you studied biomed doesn't necessarily make you smarter than the other students. The A-level students were in better standing than us graduates because I fell into the trap in the beginning of, for example, we had like PBLs or CBLs when you had like case-based learning, when they give you a scenario and you go and research a disease and diagnosis, I would go so into detail, like the molecular, the molecular structure and all of that. And you don't need to know that in medicine, but I didn't know the depth as to which I was supposed to go. So I'd end up wasting time. And that transcended into my lectures and studying for the exam. But because I had so much prior knowledge, it took me quite a while to understand that medicine isn't like biomed, whereas biomed, the 
lectures are just supplementary and you're supposed you're expected to go and do research on your own because when you do exams the lecture size are not enough to make you pass whereas in medicine they're all mcqs they're just gonna be like oh what is dna and it's a b c d or e so that took me quite a long time to get used to and i used to beat myself up about it because i was just like why am i finding it so hard to remember concepts why am i finding it so hard to why, why does it seem like i'm spending double amount of time for the same work that these undergraduates seem to understand and it's because i was trying to study medicine as a biomed i wasn't trying to study medicine as a medic i was trying to use all of the skills that i gained in biomed but not adapt it to medicine and i learned that the hard way when i was swamped with so much work over christmas um, and I, I realized that I wasn't studying smart. I was studying hard, but I wasn't studying smart and I ended up wasting my time. I feel like I'm not the only graduate who's felt like that um, on my course, or maybe in general out there in the world, you graduates who are under, on the undergraduate course, like sometimes you put a lot of pressure on yourself because you've done a degree that you should be, you know, smarter than the other students, or at least, you know, be able to understand the concepts better than other students because of your for example if you did a science degree your background in science another thing that i was shocked about was that in my first year of medicine on undergraduate course i had learned new concept that i had never been taught in my whole three years of biomed and i know this is a thing i know all biomeds courses are not exactly the same some do teach more on some subjects and some don't in my university i never really got taught about the gut i learned more about the gut um, in first year of medicine that I learned in the whole three years of biomed. I didn't think in first year I'd still be learning completely new things. Like I thought first year would just be a consolidation of knowledge that I already knew. So to learn new things in first year was very different for me. I was actually quite excited. Another thing that I wasn't expecting was how detailed anatomy was gonna be in first year. I did anatomy in first year of my first degree. And I was like, okay, yeah, I've done anatomy before. You know, I did really well in anatomy in biomed. It won't be that much different. And then I started doing anatomy in first year and I was just like, child, this is difficult. Like the amount of things you had to memorize, the amount of muscles, what they connect, the tendons, the nerves, the blood vessels, everything. You, you couldn't just learn it as an isolated thing. You had to learn it in relation to other things because the way they'll ask you a question, they wouldn't ask you about the muscle per se, they'd ask you what happens when this muscle does this or when it connects to that or what nerve does this to this muscle. So you had to learn everything in relation to other things, which is something I wasn't really used to. However, what Biomed did teach me was the fact that I was able to adapt really quickly to different revision styles. Now I tried various revision styles in my, in my three years in Biomed, so it wasn't really daunting to me knowing that I'd have to switch up the way I studied in medicine. So when I found that one style wasn't working for me, I could switch up quickly to another style without really worrying about it. And then if that style wasn't working for me, I'd quickly switch up to another style until I found a style that really suited me when I was studying. And I think another thing Biomed prepared me for is like, even though the lecture slides, the lectures were overwhelming and there was a lot of content to remember, like I never really got stressed about all the content that I had to remember. Exam season's another thing, you're always stressed in exam season, regardless of whether you know the knowledge or not. But while doing the lectures, while going to university, while learning all, those, all these topics, I knew that it was a lot, but it didn't stress me out that it was a lot because I knew that I'd be able to get things done because I'd been in such stressful situations in biomed before. So it wasn't new to me. Doing all of this stuff, I really felt, you know, how would I be if I was 18, just coming straight out of, you know, college, into this degree like i don't know if i'd have been able to handle all of this at 18 so I, i'm kind of glad that i had biomed to back me up because it made everything that i did slightly easier the message i have here is like if you're a graduate don't expect that you'll be better than other students because that's not necessarily the case secondly don't put too much pressure on yourself to be better than other students because you're a graduate and maybe that's the expectations other have of you or you have of yourself but just don't just enjoy the course and enjoy being a medical student because everyone is starting on the same page and thirdly be kind and help each other out like i know medicine is a very competitive course but everything becomes easier when 
people are be able to help each other out and you can ask questions it may feel daunting because you're the graduate and people feel like you should have the answers but if you don't know something ask questions because at the end of the day you're there to facil facilitate your learning and if you're worried about the way other people see you it's going to be hard for you to move forward and continue learning because you know this is a journey so we're constantly learning so don't be scared to ask for help we're all in the same page we're all in it together don't worry guys medicine's hard regardless medicine's just hard so we should just all pick each other up and do the best we can thank you so much for watching my video don't forget to like and subscribe keep shining and i'll see you next time bye